Aircraft flight channels are covered with volcanic ash, the Transport Ministry said in a statement, citing aviation navigation authorities. Ballas Airport, about 60 kilometers from the Mount Agut volcano, will be closed until 7 a.m. local time Wednesday, 1100 AEDT, it said. Frustration at Indonesia's second busiest airport was starting to boil over, with an estimated 2,000 people attempting to get refunds and reschedule tickets. There are thousands of people stranded here at the airport, said Itai Chef, a tourist from India. They have to go to some other airport and they are trying to do that, but the government or authorities here are not helping. Others were more relaxed. No, there's not a lot of information. Very little, but, it's alright. We're on holidays so it doest matter. We don't know what's going to happen but we can get back to the bar and have another drink, said Matthew Radix from Perth. Ten alternative airports have been prepared for airlines to divert inbound flights, including in neighboring province. The airport on Lombok Island, to the east of Bali, had been reopened, authorities said, as wind blew ash westward, toward the southern coast of Java Island. A gub towers over eastern Bali to a height of just over 3,000 meters. On Tuesday, however, life went on largely as normal in villages surrounding Agug, with residents offering prayers as the volcano sent columns of ash and smoke into the sky. On Monday, authorities said 100,000 residents living near the volcano had been ordered to get out of an 8-10 km exclusion zone, warning a larger eruption was imminent. While the population in the area has been estimated at anywhere between 63,000 and 140,000, just over 29,000 people were registered at emergency centers, said Sutopo Purawo Ugraho, a spokesman for the Disaster Mitigation Agency.